today's video we have one common mistake with every operator in Rainbow Six Siege. Maybe not only one though, but I will definitely give you guys tips on how to play them better. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch till the end and drop a like and remember to join my Discord. Link in the description. Starting with defense, we have smoke and I would say most of you keep your smokes for the last 1 minute or 30 seconds. That is a common mistake cause rounds can be done quicker than that and you don't want to die before using your smokes. So whenever you feel a rush is happening or attackers are super quick on taking the map control, you might want to use one of them just to let everyone chill and reposition on defense. With mute, you don't want to use jammers only for wall denial when you can jam hallways and doorways against a team that relies on their drones to get info. Not only that, but you can also be safe from Dukaibi calls and lion scans with your jammers. Common mistake with castle, which I see a lot, is castling side or important areas of the map. You don't want to lock yourself in and give free control to attackers. It's like they see you are not going to peek from that door and no one is contesting that area and guess what, they take control of that area. Pulse common mistake that I do it myself as well is you don't look for drones around you cause if attackers know that you're playing Pulse, they know where you are going to play it and that's below so team safe drones below to hunt you down meanwhile you're distracted to scanning people above you. Moving on to Doc and Rook, I don't know why are you playing passive. You are playing one of the few ops that have 1.5 and 2.5 scopes on defense and you also have strong defensive gadgets that will allow you to be aggressive and not get punished for it. Unless they shoot you in the head. Capcan traps can be lethal if you place them correctly. Some of you don't pay any attention that your traps can be exposed due to the angle attackers are peeking. So next time you're placing down your traps, check which sort of a doorway is better to place them so it gets blocked by attackers line of sight. A chunk of common mistake is that you don't use lineups. Instead of being safe and slowing down the attackers at the same time, you decide to peek and throw these fire grenades which can put you in a bad spot. Moving on to Jaeger, please place ADSs somewhere that can cover that area and also not be exposed to other angles. Some of you only think about one side of the map that attackers can push and then just place them where it's open to other areas. Also, I'm not a fan of stacking ADSs in one place unless you're playing with a team. Common mistake for bandit is in some maps can actually bandit trick even though attackers have no idea how to counter you or they don't play maverick. So instead of placing them down from the beginning, wait till they think there is nothing on the wall so they can open and then bandit trick the wall. For frost I would say you put them in the most common places or let's say only windows when doorways or staircases can be really unexpected for attackers. When it comes to Valkyrie, throw them somewhere that is not exposed but also can cover lots of areas. Wall camps don't have to necessarily see something. As long as you can hear whereabouts the attackers, your camps are perfect. Common mistake with Cav is don't be seen, like honestly Cav is a selfish operator so stop reinforcing. Go hide from the first second cause as soon as they know you're playing Cav, they know you're roaming so no way they just give you free kills and free interrogations. With Echo, you guys keep your yokais on site for the entire round and that's a mistake. Echo's yokais can be really useful to get info especially when Valk is banned. For the first 2 minutes have your yokais out of the site to get info and then rotate one of them back to site so you have info and be able to deny plant. Mirror common mistake is either you don't put mirror windows all the way on the edge of reinforcement or you put them somewhere that can trap yourself in. You should still be able to rotate out of the room, not get stuck in there. Cause attackers don't have to pick the mirror window, they just hold the hole you made on your own rotation and wait for you to rotate out of there. Legion goo mines are getting used wrong. Instead of placing them in the middle of the door or stairs which they can easily see, put them in a dark corner of the door frame or somewhere that can be blocked by attackers line of sight, just like Capcan. With Ella Mines I have to ask, who doesn't hate being concussed and slowed? They are so annoying so please wherever you place your mines, be close to them so as soon as someone goes into them, you can peek and take advantage. Cause what's the point of concussing and slowing down the attackers when you don't take the gunfight against them? Visual common mistake is you use your gadget either too early which you will run out of or you keep using it even if the drones have already passed you. The point of playing Vigil is wasting time so you want to be able to use your gadget for a long time. Master Evil Eyes. Place them out of attackers reach. Most of you put them so close to attackers that they can burn ADS and just get rid of it with Ash or Zofia charge and sometimes just punch it. Evil Eyes can be so powerful if they are out of reach which attackers have no idea about or it's really hard for them to get rid of it. Common mistake with all by Prismas is not having them on common angles and also not pick around them. Attackers usually have their crosshair head level so it can be really good to have 2-3 Prismas around and pick in between to make them confused. Well clash common mistake is just holding your zap and running out of it which leaves you with a shield that can't hold back the attackers. Instead you can hold it for 2 seconds and let go of it and keep doing that. This way you waste more time and reposition better. Kite Electroclaws, I mean what's the point of having it in the middle of the wall where they can either nade it or maverick it? Why not instead place them somewhere that they cannot get it at all? Just be careful you don't get seen by a drone. For Muzzy, you want to shoot drones in prep phase and then place your pests in action phase. Think about it, attackers waste their drones anyway in prep phase so you can get those for free. But now when it comes to actually droning, they have to deal with Muzzy pests. So not only you get drones but also deny info like this and waste time. Sure, in prep phase you can get one or two drones but then you cannot deny info or waste time. 
Moving on to Warden, dying early is a common mistake. The whole team is counting on you to be the counter to Ying pushing into sight or deny the plan in the smoke. But what do you do? Peek and die in the first one minute and leave your team with annoying flashes and smokes. Goyo and Aruni gonna be together. That's kinda sus if you ask me, but I mean common mistakes. Goyo canisters and laser gates have to be somewhere that you can shoot them safely without exposing yourself. Some of you put a gate or canister on a spot that is not reachable at all and that's a mistake you don't wanna make. But my common mistake is putting those discs close to your teammates utility which can be not beneficial cause if the Wamai discs catch a nade, the whole utility gets destroyed. Also throwing them before attackers use their flashes and utility to burn ADS is a mistake. Wait for them to throw 3 flashes to burn ADS and when it comes to nading, then throw your discs so it catches the nade. With Oryx you wanna be patient. I make a mistake most of the times by peeking and dying early instead of waiting for the right time to actually use Oryx ability, which is climbing the hatches or run faster out of a pressured area. Malusi Banshee, if you're placing it close to attackers and in the angle that they are peeking, you are making a mistake cause it takes half a second for them to flick and shoot that Banshee. Instead you wanna make them peek one angle where defenders are and have to actually turn around or look down to shoot that Banshee. This gives you a chance to peek them when they are looking somewhere else. Common mistake with Thunderbird Kono stations is stacking them up in one place which is a huge risk. Either they all get destroyed or if a defender is cut off then he cannot rotate to that only one place to get healed. So it's better to put one by every common spot that your teammates play. Moving on to Torn Razor Bloom shells, two things. If you're not comboing them with Elamine or Goomine then you are making a mistake. And if you're throwing them separately you also making a mistake cause Razor Bloom shells can be deadly if they are like a chain close to each other. So as soon as the attackers get close to one of them, the other two gets activated behind and in front of them and they have nowhere to run or get confused. A zombie gadget can be used wrong just like castle. You don't want to block side or windows which gives attackers free control and they can easily punch it. A zombie creates more angles with safe cover so you want to create more angles on defense and actually put more pressure until they use their utility or take the gunfight against you. Time to switch to attackers. Well yeah, with Sledge you wanna play vertical but I want to point out horizontal push. Common mistake is that you have a hammer that you can create more angles, more ways for yourself to go and rotate. But what you do instead is take doorways which is the only one angle defenders have to worry about. Make a path for yourself that you can rotate freely without taking a gunfight. Thatcher common mistake is instead of taking 3 utilities you only throw them on a vault that has only one mute jammer on it. Why not throw it on the middle to get the jammer and ADS and laser gate on the door. So you wanna maybe use your drone before throwing EMPs left and right. Ash common mistake I don't have to say anything cause you all know what I'm going to say. Please stop opening a barricade door with ash charge, it makes even more sound than just easily punching it. Termite charge, most of you don't time it well when your teammates get rid of bandits or wall denies and when you put your termite charge on the wall it's just too late and it gets tricked again. Having your gadget deployment on advanced helps a lot to have the best timing for opening wall and not get tricked. With Twitch you wanna be sneaky and take the easiest way to utility. I see some of you drive your drone the whole map just to get to sight. Enter a doorway, listen to the sounds and be quick. For the second one go from somewhere else so defenders won't expect it. Moving on to Monty, don't take the wrong way. This is a mistake I even make sometimes. You wanna make sure wherever you are pushing and taking control, there is no possible way for defenders to flank and kill you from behind. So think with yourself, what is the safest way you can take? When you pick glass, please don't make any sound with your sniper. As soon as they know attackers have glass, they don't want to pick you through smokes. So you wanna shoot cams with pistol and have your teammates open the door for you. Fuse common mistake is fusing side without having any vertical pressure cause there's no point. You fuse one side, they run to the other side. Have vertical holes on one side and fuse the other so they eventually run into those vertical holes which you are sitting on and ready to kill them. Think of it as a combo. You wanna get more kills with blitz, stop leaning with your shield cause they can shoot your legs and stop running into defenders cause again they will shoot your legs. Some of you don't take IQ vertical play seriously. I mean you have no map knowledge to get Kate electrical from below or you can't burn ADS so why not play IQ with suppressed pistol to get all the utility from below or above quietly instead of bringing her for nothing and play horizontally. What common mistake gonna be not making a lot of vertical holes? Some of you only make one or two holes and expect to get a kill or put pressure. First make bunch of holes everywhere and then pick those and remember that you can bug from long distance so if you're scared from C4 stay far and open vertically. Now we have Blackbeard, an operator that I don't play that much but honestly holding angles just cause you have a shield doesn't help. You wanna rely on your movement and the shield together cause then defenders might miss some shots and you get safe from that one or two bullets towards your head. Also don't let them see your shield before they see yourself. Capitol can be used easily but if you want a quick pick and find the right spot to smoke and fire then you're making a mistake. 
You want to join the spot you want to fire and ping it and just immediately shoot your bolts because if they see you quick picking with capital, they know what's coming for them, so they just pre-fire. Hibana change really helped a lot, so now you can choose how many pellets you want to use, but please don't be lazy and actually manage where and how many of them you want to use. Sometimes you put 6 Excaros on a hatch when you need only 4, or sometimes you need only 2 just to force someone out of a corner with reinforcement. Common mistake with Jackal is you don't push from top floor. You want to take top floor and hunt down anyone top so you don't get flanked when you're pushing downstairs. It's basically the opposite way. Side downstairs you take top, side top floor you hunt down anyone below if you're Jackal. What's the point of taking control of the first floor and hunting down someone's second floor? You don't want to walk upstairs and get slammed by someone top waiting for you. Also, please have your camp pre-placed on your entry to the map. Well, with Ying, you don't have to use candelas specifically for sight. Some of you keep them until you get close to the site to throw them, but you don't have to. You can take some certain areas of the map by just throwing candelas, because honestly, that's scary as a defender to see that rolling towards you. Zofia can be used wrong just like Ash, so don't use your impacts on barricade door. But one other common mistake is when you want to burn ADS and you waste two of your impacts and now you're left with two concussions and two shields on site. So burn with one concuss and one impact. Who do we have next? Dukaibi. Whenever you call, you want to act upon it. You just don't call and wait and listen where they are. You have to push, take control and get into gunfights. Defenders either stop the call or take the fight against you, but you know where they are because of sound. Think a common mistake is using the heal when nobody's damaged. Why really? You get 3 heals and you waste it for nothing? Just use it as soon as someone gets damaged or if he's in a gunfight to give him that extra boost to stay alive longer. Lion scans. So why do you use it in the first 10 seconds? Yeah, cause you are making a mistake. You need to time it well, either when your team is executing or when they are hunting a roamer which can be really good to give them extra time and info to get one step closer to roamers who are standing or running and getting pinged. When it comes to Maverick, can you guys please stop making a big circle in the middle? Once they throw a C4 on the hole, anyone close to it dies or they throw it far and someone behind us gets blown up. Let's say no one gets C4, they can still impact trick your Ace Charge or Termite Charge, it's just a miss. What's the point of Maverick if you're not Maverick tricking and get the wall open? Well, I think some of you don't know this, but Nomad Airjap has a huge range so don't put them low on doors or staircases, cause defenders can go prone and shoot the Airjap without getting into it. I have done this so many times where I go prone on the door and I can see the tip of the Airjap and just flank without anyone noticing anything. With great luck, you just want to make sure wherever you're throwing your tracks, it expands and covers the whole area so defenders can't make a play or flank. No common mistake is rushing and I don't know why you think Nook can be good for rushing when the gadget is for not to be seen through camps. Some of you keep using it for a long time even though there is no camp next to you and then you run out of it, so honestly, take it a bit slow. Amaru can be good if you actually have info on wherever you are going to rush, so have someone droning you and then use your hook to get in. Sure, without drones it also works but only 10% of the time. Kali players, don't use your gadget too soon on the wall when there is thermite charge or ice charge on the wall, cause you will destroy them. I know you want to help to get rid of the utility, but you just destroy your friendly gadget. With Ayana, I think everyone forgot that she has a clone to drone and it can be so much faster. Nowadays everyone just pick her as a fragger and get into map without using it for info. It's not always for burning Aruni gates, guys. Another mistake that I make while I'm playing Ace, I throw two of my Selmas on the wall and after the first hole, they both get impacted. Or I don't know why, but I just keep throwing them in the middle, so then we have to jump through them, which sometimes can be an advantage for defenders. Zero players, can you please check flank cams once in a while and actually use your zaps to destroy cams and utility? What's the point of a flank cam if you don't watch it? Stop making these mistakes. Zero is such a good operator with hard bridge gadget that can bring a lot of use to attack. Common mistake for Flores is not using your normal drone to get info on the things you want to blow up cause you have to be fast and also take the easiest way with Flores retro drones. You don't want to blindly drive it to a mid jammer. And for the last operator of this video, don't put your Osa shields on the door frame and expose to 3 other angles. Instead have it where defenders rotate and it's hard for them to impact your shield so put it far from their reach and put it somewhere safe and important.